Hey Molly. So uh, so today we're doing um, Can't Help Falling in Love, uh, the transposing it from D down to C, uh, which is useful as, as, as well, you know, obviously, because a lot of keys are very awkward. And, um, but you can always, there's always the option of making them a lot less awkward by transposing them to the key of C. So if we're in D, we're going down two semitones. We're going from D, C sharp, down to C. But anyway, that's all in the notes anyway. So, but today, all I really want to do is just give you some strumming to play along to. Okay, so it's that down, down, up, up, down, up. That strumming pattern. Okay, so uh, so you've got it written down there anyway. I'll just give you a four count in, and uh, I'll start. Keep it nice and slow. One, two, three, four. So now, when it comes to, you know, posture and all that, everybody's kind of got to figure that out for themselves to a certain degree, right? But if if it feels kind of awkward and you're kind of holding your body in a position that's not natural, you probably want to change it up a little bit. So it should it shouldn't be there shouldn't be too much effort involved in strumming, okay? Now, now, as I was saying, you know, kind of be expressive about it, you know, kind of when you're coming down a little bit of a let me bring it up a bit. A little bit of a flick, okay? Same with the thumb. As I said, I'm exaggerating this, obviously, but it's not a bad exercise to exaggerate it yourself, you know, sort of to really kind of just, just, you can, don't have to hold a chord, you can just mute it like that and just up, down, up, down, up, okay? Big ones, you know, so you can really kind of dig in and be gentle as well, so you've got those options. Another thing as well is when it comes to that whole technique of going down, up, down, up, down, up the whole time, but just defining the rhythm by not hitting all of the strums, like we did uh, today, just hit to hit all of them, just to kind of get that motion going, and then you can sort of start taking them out. So just as a quick warm up, you know, over and over and over again, just to kind of get that motion going. And as well as that, just to work on the way your hand approaches the strings as well that's that's important too because you want that to be that should be easy you know not not right now obviously you know when you're only just starting out but it shouldn't be uh, a strain okay so um so yeah just uh you know go back play along with that and one thing as well is to keep in mind is if you turn if one of what i was doing that play in there of the that pattern if you turn off the volume and just look at my hand it's just up, 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 up and down, up and down. So, uh, so that's how it, how it ought to be. And we were talking about the advantages of doing it that way. So I won't go over those again. All right. Talk to you next week. See you again. <laughs>